Hey friends, uh, Dr. Tom here. Out on a little walkabout in the uh, wilderness, which is exceptionally good for my soul. Uh, I don't know how you're responding to these uh, unsettled times, but uh, I found myself the last uh, 36 hours or so starting to um, get a feeling a little overwhelmed, feeling a bit defeatist, feeling a bit um, down, quite frankly, which is pretty rare for me. Um, and uh, I think I've been even though I consume very little uh, mass media, I feel like I've been consuming maybe a little bit too much in my uh, morning reads just to stay you know, connected to what the world thinks is going on right now and uh, what you know, things as a good citizen I need to be thinking about or doing. Um, but again, <clears throat> one of the guiding forces in my life is the, uh, is the intelligence that I perceive throughout the universe, which I more easily see in nature. So I'm in the midst of a... Uh, multi-hour walkabout uh, in nature to see uh, if I can't get grounded and learn to uh, look for signs and signals of, of uh, the guidance that I often get from within that is represented through nature. So uh, one of the first things I saw about 40 minutes ago was a beautiful uh, small uh, herd, if you will, of deer, uh, mom and her two babies, and I'm, I'm pretty sure the look of her mom was uh, quite pregnant which is a good sign. Um, often moms with twins will have uh, other twins. So that uh, in, the, in the native uh, world, the uh, medicine card for deer, actually, if you are interacting with deer energy, it's a time to be gentle with yourself and to slow down and go inside. So that was a uh, huge affirmation for me. Um, and as I kept hiking, um, I actually interacted with the cutest little chipmunk uh, who's one of the guys that tends to uh, be quite popular uh, with my inner voice. And so as I connected with the energy and essence of chipmunkness, I uh, again was looking for some guidance and reflection and he got up on top of a little rock and he turned and pointed, in my opinion, in a certain direction. So my uh, inner voice resonated with that, so I followed the directions. And one of the things I've also been looking for is uh, deer sheds, which is a uh, buck antler sheds, which is pretty common to uh, find this time of year where there are deer around, which thankfully I actually went in the direction of uh, what my little friend uh, Chipmunk was saying to me and I'm in a part of the forest that I've rarely been in before, certainly not the exact path I'm taking, which is just, uh, you know, wandering on a walkabout through the wilderness and uh, I came across this old um, ladder or bridge and uh, continue, I saw lots of oak uh, mast and stuff so I thought wow this could be a place where deer have been hanging out and maybe in the December, January in the shed they did and then I came across this <laughs> a sign put into a wall into a tree from a long time ago that says buck why it's there I have no idea but for me, it was a massive affirmation that, that I can trust my intuition, that I will be given the right signs and the right time and the right sequence to uh, help me not only uh, lead my family and my company and my team, but also to thrive during these uncertain times. So I offer this for reflection for you. Mostly this is a commentary for me to say for myself so that when I get into that downward spiral that I very rarely but occasionally do, I can watch this and remember the things that I know to be true for me. So um, whatever it is that grounds you, whatever it is that connects you, whatever it is that allows you to get back in touch with what's important to you, with the essence of who you are, and to learn to trust that intuition, learn to trust that gut again, um, I would encourage you to do that soon. It is the only thing for me, maybe for you, that will help you get through these unsettled times. Miigwech.